Sometimes things look great from the outside, but a closer inspection reveals a problem. That's the case with our kitchen window, which began fogging up last year. Now it's had it, and something needs to be done. So we stopped by to see what custom-made RV windows are all about, and found out that you can order top quality individual windows at really competitive prices. Tom, the founder and owner of Peninsula Glass, proudly showed us how they create each window. Glass is computer cut using a water jet. It comes right off the cutting table with perfectly smooth edges. Glass is hung on hooks for tempering in the furnace. Our RV windows are dual pane, so two pieces need to be assembled into a single unit. It's great to see the care that goes into making something by hand. Now here's a real trick of the trade. We're gonna remember this one. Aluminum extrusions are cut to length, then bent to make a window frame. He makes it look easy, but we know how much engineering and effort it took to make this process create perfect radius corners every time. This is where frames and glass come together in final assembly. We watched as these meticulous craftsmen pieced everything together by hand. Even the screens are custom made in-house and they're aluminum, not nylon like our old ones. Once they're fully assembled, and checked for smooth operation. Everything is cleaned and ready to wear the Motion Windows brand, which is the Peninsula Glass division that makes RV windows. When your products are glass, protecting them during shipping is a big part of your business. Most of the windows are custom packed and shipped out. Some are installed right here by Peninsula Glass technicians, or in our case, picked up in person. This is our actual window, which we custom ordered a few weeks ago. After our complete tour of the factory, we got a few pointers about installation, and we were on our way, excited that we'd soon be able to see clearly out our kitchen window again. We'll show you how to do it yourself in three simple steps, measuring, ordering, and replacing the window. Here are the tools that we'll be using for the project, some of which you might not need depending on your RV. A cordless drill, tape measure, a spray bottle with plain water in it, a ruler, plastic putty knife, painter's tape, a clean rag, rubbing alcohol, mineral spirits, a caulk gun with some clear ProFlex RV sealant, nitrile gloves, and a stepladder. Peninsula Glass can make just about any size or shape RV window, but of course, they'll need the measurements first. Start by removing any window valance, blinds, or shades. Then remove all of the small screws around the perimeter. And remove the inside frame. For a simple rectangular window like this one, we'll need four measurements, starting with the width and height of the opening. Be sure to measure the opening itself, not the width of the old window. Ours is exactly 30 inches wide and 14 and 7 eighths inches tall. Next, we'll need the depth of the window, which is basically the thickness of the wall. Be sure to use a ruler with measurements that go right to the end and insert it into the wall until it touches the outside of the window frame. Our wall is two and a half inches thick. For the last measurement, we'll print out this radius template tool from the Motion Windows website. Once we confirm the radius is exactly five and a half inches, we'll know it printed correctly. Now we'll carefully cut along the edge, giving us this template. 
We then use it to confirm that the radius on our window is 3 inches. Now we'll reinstall the inside frame and put our blinds back in place and move on to step 2, ordering our window. Print out the order form from the website, enter your information and window measurements, and place your order. We'll put links to the template and order form down below in the video description. Once your beautiful new window arrives, it's time to finish the job. Remove the inside frame, exactly the same as before. Numar applies a bead of sealant along the top of every window. If your RV doesn't have this, your job will be a little easier. Using the plastic putty knife to avoid scratching your RV's finish, carefully break the seal on the old window and remove it. Be sure to have the window open so you can keep a grip on it when it comes loose. Scrape off any old sealant with your putty knife and then clean off any excess with mineral spirits. We do a final cleaning with rubbing alcohol to make sure the surface is completely clean and free of any residue. Pry off the small adhesive strip that holds the ends of the inside frame together. Keep in mind that there's a seam here because we'll be showing you how we tighten that together during installation. But for now, you can set the frame aside. It's time to dry fit the window to confirm proper alignment. The person on the inside will be able to see if there's extra space at the top of the frame. The window doesn't have to fill the entire opening completely, and it's normal for there to be a little play. If there is some extra space, use two small shims, like these hard rubber strips or small pieces of wood, and set them down on the windowsill. Now dry fit again to confirm that the spacing is about the same at the top and bottom. If everything is even all around, we're ready to permanently install the window. Take it out and place it on a flat surface, protected with something soft. We wipe the inside of the frame with a little rubbing alcohol to make sure it's completely clean and free of any residue. The alcohol will then evaporate almost immediately. Using the included roll of double-sided foam tape, begin right at the center of the bottom of the window. Press it into place and remove the paper backing as you go. Keep applying the tape all the way around the frame. The reason we remove the paper backing as we go is because it's actually stiffer than the foam tape, and removing it just prior to rounding each corner will allow us to curve the tape smoothly around the bend for a perfect unbroken seal. When you reach the end, cut the tape to allow about a half inch of overlap on top of the tape where you started. Remember to confirm that this seam is at the bottom of the window before you start applying the tape. Now spray the entire surface of the foam tape lightly with water. This may seem strange, like it will prevent it from sticking, but once the water evaporates, it will stick perfectly and be watertight. We'll also spray water around the perimeter of the window opening. The water on the tape and the RV will allow us to adjust the position of the window as needed without it sticking before we have it placed perfectly. Now we're ready for final installation. Try to avoid pressing the window firmly against the side of the RV until you have it centered with the same amount of space on each side. Once it's positioned correctly, you can push in from the outside, pressing the foam tape firmly against the side of the RV. Put the inside frame back in place and begin installing the screws. Be sure to only use the screws that came with the new window. Start with either one of the screws next to the seam, where you removed the adhesive strip earlier. Angle the screw just slightly toward the seam to pull it toward the opposing edge. We're starting with the screw just below the seam, so we're angling slightly upward. Don't tighten it in all the way just yet. Now we'll install one in the lower left corner followed by the opposite two corners. Again, screw them in most of the way, but don't tighten anything yet. Now we'll install a screw in the middle of the top section. We don't want one in this corner just yet, as we want to leave play in the frame so that we can pull the seam tight with the next screw. 
Install that screw at the seam, again angled slightly toward it. In this case, we're on the top of the seam now, so we're angling downward. Now we can firmly tighten the two screws on each side of the seam. What we've done is to loosely install the inside frame to hold it in place. Then start the tightening process by pulling the seam together firmly. That's why these are the only two screws that are installed at a slight angle, pulling toward each other. Once those two screws are tight, you can install the rest and tighten them all. Now wipe off any excess water and press the two drain covers into place at the bottom of the frame. Then pop the screen into place. Most installations are now done, but in our case, we want to replace the sealant that Numar uses around the tops of all the windows, even though Peninsula Glass does not require it for the windows to be perfectly watertight. Here's the part where us amateur caulkers use a trick to make a perfect bead. Painter's tape. A professional would surely scoff at needing tape prior to caulking, but we're not as confident about this as they are, and Proflex is very thick and sets up quickly. If we do it without tape, and don't get it right the first time, we'll have a big mess on our hands. Once the tape is in place, we apply the sealant with a caulk gun. The trick is to slide a finger smoothly over it, and then immediately remove the tape. If you wait and allow the sealant to skin over, the tape won't come off and you'll have pieces of brightly colored tape stuck around your nice new window. Our new window is beautiful from both outside and in. All that's left to do is reinstall any window treatments. The job is pretty easy, but if you'd rather not do it yourself, and happen to be headed toward Vancouver for all the great RV services here. Peninsula Glass puts the same care into their installations that they do into their windows. And how can you not have great confidence in an RV window company that has RV windows in their building? You want a Coke and fries with that? Center the fabric between the end caps. Even though the right cap isn't back on yet, you can clearly see the mark on the tube where it goes. Now it's time to roll the new fabric up onto the roller tube. This is where an extra helper work comes in handy on really large ones. Take your time and roll the fabric 